Hi there. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Great. My name is Elizabeth. I'm with the Community Writing Center, and I appreciate you agreeing to the short interview today. Um, I just have about one to three questions, um, and feel free to, to answer as in-depth as you'd like. Sound okay. good? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm with Nancy today, and the first question that I just wanted to ask was, what was your inspiration for the artwork that was chosen for the Art Around the City Trail? Um, I don't know if I had any particular inspiration, but it, it's a continuation of a process that I do. Um, I make monoprints, and um, so, and I, um, you know, it, it was, a, like I said, a continuation of the process that I already do. Okay. Um, could you kind of describe a little bit about what the piece looks like that was chosen, or pieces, if you had multiple? I did too. Um, it's uh, one is red and one is black and red. And I do mono prints with jelly plates. And I always wanted to print. And it, living in Midland didn't have the opportunity. There wasn't anywhere to learn. There was no one that had a press that I could use. So I took a class from Valerie Allen, and it was with gel prints. And that was my uh, game changer because it allowed me to print at home. Um, mm -hmm. easily and so I started exploring that and um, it just opened up a lot for me as far as color and design so with this print I used red and um, started with a red I always start with a single color and then add different colors into it or black and this one I went to black so one the piece that's selected for the trail is a red piece and I also cut paper and that sounds weird but i fold and i brought one of these i fold paper okay. cut it into different designs and i have one here okay and then that's what i print so i print my own designs and so um i take a lot of time um uh, designing that uh cut and then work from there and let the color and the pattern guide me. Okay, wonderful. And and I know you just mentioned that that you now work from home. I was wondering if you could kind of tell us a little bit about a day in your studio, or do you have a studio space in your home, or what does that look like? I do. I created it in my basement. Um, a lot of people don't like basements, but this is my uh, my space, and I really love it here. Um, I was an uh, instructor told me years ago that you need to have a dedicated space and so that's what I did I created this space and it, it has made all the difference in my artwork um, I come down here every day um, I work usually a couple hours in the afternoon and then a couple hours in the evening so four to six hours in the studio every day um, if it's a nice day, I might spend more time at night and, you know, be outside in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. In the wintertime, it's no problem. I'm down here all the time. Right. But spend a lot of time down here. I also, you can see over my shoulder here, um, all the prints I make aren't successful. And mm -hmm. so I take those prints and cut them up and make 3D art out of them. So they're still my prints, but they've changed. Oh, that's so cool. It's like multi-purpose. Mm -hmm. I, I was curious, what made you choose to work in the medium that you work in? It was just um, accessibility. I could do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and where before with printing, I, I couldn't do it without a press. And mm -hmm. this is pressless. So, you know, it, it all stemmed down to the ability to be able to do it at home. Okay. Well, that is fantastic. Is there anything else you'd, you'd like to share with us about your artwork or your process? Um, well, one thing I wanted to share was about art, and I've written this down. It's a quote by Jerry Steltz, and it's, nothing happens when you're not working, but anything can happen if, if you are. So you need to work every day if you're an artist. Nothing gets mm -hmm. done if you don't work um, yeah. at what you do. And that for me, that's been really important. 
I love that. I think a lot of artists would probably agree with you there. And it must be very convenient to have that space in your home as well that you can just go down and work in. Mm-hmm. Well, Nancy, I really appreciate you taking the time to chat with me today and congratulations again on having your art pieces chosen. That's, that's amazing. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Bye. Bye.